Hello everybody and welcome to what will hopefully be the final part of Let's Play Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. As you can see in our trusty Atlas, we have completed the game 100% aside from the final boss. You know, it's, you know we, we have 6,800 gems out of 7,000 because, you know, money bags showed up at the very beginning and then didn't show up again. Just like how we will never see Bianca again. But yeah, we've come a long way through glitches, through bad level design, through boredom. We're finally here at the boss. Let's go. I expect this to be one of the longest loading times of the game. Just because... Yeah, they're saving to memory card and memory... Oh, wait. That, that's auto-save right there. So I didn't need to save. Whatever, you know, you can never be too cautious when you're dealing with games with numerous glitches and game-breaking bugs and stuff. So, yeah. Spyro's just falling into the abyss. He'll reach the bottom one day. I really hope that day will be today. Oh, wow, okay, it ended rather quickly compared to other loading times. Okay, we have to talk first. You're back again? How is this possible? I will take care of you permanently. You oh, wait a minute, I said that last time. I wouldn't want to sound like a video game cliche. Let me try that again. This time this I will game doesn't care even have the right. All. To use fourth wall comedy right now. Also, I love how his mouth so perfectly lined up with, you know, what he was saying. It was like so perfect. Hocus, hocus. Okay. So that's his ice shield. I'm just gonna run after him and, you know, try to get him to do it down. With my fire. Okay. His shield's almost melted. We will do this. He will not have the opportunity to attack me. I will not allow it to happen. Screw you. S screw you, I said. Okay. So he's growing a little bigger. And now that's his fire shield. Where is some fodder? There we go. Okay. I don't know what you are, but you will die to help me live. But yeah, um, after that little hit, you know, when, like, okay, let me, let me collect my thoughts here. After that one hit, and then like he sort of like transported back to the middle of the stage, that was actually the very first boss fight. So once you beat his little ice shield stage, you're done pretty much. Like that's the first encounter you have with him when you're at like 70 or 75% done with the game. So you beat that one easy phase of his, and then you get credits, and then you go back to the hub and you have the ability to have sparks zero in on treasure. That was actually the first boss fight. And the phase we're in now is considered the second boss fight that you would get when you enter his little portal at 85% or more done with the game. So yeah, let's beat the second boss. Let's get hit when we immediately unpause. I don't even care, I'm gonna tank everything. Okay, wait, actually no. It's not a wise idea. Fodder, get over here. Thank you. Eh, yeah, whatever. I restart right here anyway. Okay, so let's just do this again. We'll chase him down. We'll chase him down. We'll wear down the shield. Because that's all we need to do. This boss fight is so stupid. And I'm just experiencing this for the first time. All I did was just look up the best strategy on how to beat him. 
And that is apparently the best strategy, to not even give him time to attack. Oh, he's so big. And now he's a giant ogre. Well, it's ogre now. Oh, no. That, I, I deserve to get hit for that. So, yeah, this is actually the third boss fight now. So, yep, after we beat his little fire shield phase, we would have uh, gone to this. I mean, well, we would have had credits again. And then this is the third phase. What am I supposed to be doing here? I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. I just know how I'm supposed to dodge his attacks. Well, I have a few lives to figure it out. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm supposed to wait for his scepter to get stuck in the ground. And I'm gonna have to hit him six times. Everybody was saying, like, this could take, like, this could go by really quickly, or it'll take ages for him to get his scepter stuck. And I'm dead again. Okay. How many lives do I have left? Oh, four. Oh, goody. Oh, all right. Great. I got hit again. Whoa. Okay. How did I avoid that? I don't even know. You give me an opportunity to attack you? I want this to be done! Oh, okay, there we go. And then, yeah, when it gets stuck and you hear that electric sound that's when you want to like hit it with the electric breath okay so just yay I'm dead again so yeah I need to do that six times and I can't find fodder anywhere so uh, woo yay I got hit immediately okay I hate you Okay, this seems to be the best strategy, actually. Immediately stop moving. He's never gonna give me the opportunity to attack again, is he? Oh my god, really? There is no fodder whatsoever. Like, what's up with that? Okay, that's hit number one. Of course. Of course! That's hit number two. Hit number three. It's just reflex that I was jumping. Like, even when he wasn't even on screen, like, that was just reflex, like, jump! Oh, crap, okay. So I know these are quick. Oh, seriously! 
This is one of the most tedious boss final bosses I have ever encountered. Hit number four. No. Hit number four. Okay. Yeah, there's literally no fodder for this part. That sucks. Hit number five. Oh. Never mind. I guess I might have got him twice by accident, or maybe it is just only five hits. I don't know. At least we beat him. That's all that I care about right now. Oh, is it pulling a Sonic 06 and loading up the his death animation and then it's going to start loading up the final cutscene? Wow, this this oh my god. No, not again. My plans are so Twice I put my faith in this staff and twice it has failed me. Dragons, dragonflies, I can't win. I can't win! Well, that's what you get for playing with your little sticks. Silly Ripto, don't you know magic and dinosaurs don't mix? You haven't heard the last of me, you little demon. I'll be back and you'll be sorry. Every last one of you will be sorry! Yeah, I bet. Okay. That was one of the most unfulfilling, like, you beat the final boss cutscenes I have ever encountered. Oh, there's Bianca without a speaking line. Well, as normal as fairy tales go, anyway, pal. I'll tell you what, though, guys. We weren't just going to stand by and let Ripto ruin this day for the baby dragons. Who writes Sparks? Or the dragonflies? Well, everything is finally back to normal. Isn't it, Spyro? This animation. This animation. Ugh. Are we done? Oh, wait, no, no, there's still some more unfinished business. Okay. Oh. Okay. Credits. Dear God, Sparks and Spyro look utterly stupid. So, yeah, these are the people that made this game. I bet they're so proud of themselves. Oh, my God. But, yeah. That's that's this game. That that's Enter the Dragonfly. Honestly, I thought people were just over exaggerating how bad the game was, but uh No, this this game is bad. Like you can tell they really rushed through it. Like there are some aspects of it where it's like, okay, you know, they they really wanted to go for something here. They, did they really name... Did they name the dragonflies after the damn people that worked on it? Alright, but whatever. But yeah, like, you can tell there were some areas where it's like they really wanted to try something out and go for something good, but... I don't know, the fact that the publisher at the time, um... I got the... Oh, I thought I had the case right here. Uh, oh. Here we go. Yeah, Universal Interactive, uh... Guess, were they Vivendi at this time? No, 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 they, they weren't with Vivendi at this time. But, um, or they might have been. But yeah, the publisher, like, they just wanted the game rushed out, and that's why, you know, it has, like, considerably less levels than what they originally wanted. Uh, less dragonflies. I think they wanted 120. I, I forgot the number I gave at the beginning, but... Yeah, there's less levels than they wanted. Less hub worlds less challenges less bosses so yeah it's just a rushed job 
It was gonna be, you know, 60 frames per second. It can barely keep 30 now. So, yeah, this is just a train wreck. Like, this is why you don't rush games. And then again, Superman 64, I don't think that was rushed. I think that was just bad programmers in general. Yeah, all in all, uh, actually, no, no, I, I can't call this. I, I was about to say, like, it's not that bad. No, it, it's bad. This is really bad. Like, the people that said it was bad, they were right. You know, I underestimated how right they were. These are the voice actors. They flew out some of these voice actors to just read, like, one line of text, and that was it. Wow. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. This, this really is just, th this might be the exact moment where Spyro died. Well, no, no. I mean, the fact that they still tried to carry on, you know, with the next game, I forgot what it's called. It might be a Hero's Tale, or am I thinking of the DS game? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, considering, like, after the game that followed this, like, they tried to reboot the series with The Legend of Spyro, I heard fairly positive things about those, but like, a lot of people say, or from what I've seen, like, the general consensus is that it's still not all that good, and they just don't feel like Spyro games at the end of the day. Plus, they tried to make them more, like, dark and angsty, and that never really works out when you're trying to do reboots or just sequels to stuff. I think the only time that ever really worked out was with Jack and Daxter. But, like, trying to go down the angsty route never really works out. I mean, it sure as hell didn't work out for Sonic. But, yeah, your work is you. Don't let you down. What? Were, did they call themselves trying to be deep and philosophical with that? What? I, I, I don't know. But, yeah, like, this, this is what happened to Spyro after the PlayStation 1 games. It's, it's kind of depressing. It is just so very depressing. Yeah. But that's this game. We're we're done with it and uh I mean, I guess nowadays if you want Spyro, you know, there's Skylanders, but that's I mean, Spyro is just a bit character in those now. He's he doesn't play a major role at least to my knowledge. Um, in the first Skylanders, I think he played a major role, but then after that and all the expansions, and when the new one coming out, he's just a side character. Like, he's he's just there. It used to be Spyro and Skylanders, and now it's just Skylanders, so. Yeah, I doubt we'll ever be seeing another Spyro game, and... Wow, of course it starts you off right here, okay. Yeah, infinite loop where you get to fight the boss over and over again, just in case you didn't get enough of it the first time. But yeah, you know, we you can't even exit the level, so I guess I could just do this. You know, just warp there. Yeah, wow. Oversight on their part, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I doubt we'll ever be seeing another uh, Spyro game. <laughs> I would say never say never, but it's not looking likely considering how the series just kept going like like performing more and more poorly over the years and then he's just a bit player in Skylanders now. We we have a better chance of seeing Crash come back in a standard Crash game than we have of seeing Spyro come back. I mean at least you know, Sony was kinda teasing Crash over the last few years. Like in that PS4 commercial, you saw a crash on, like that older PS4 commercial, there was a silhouette of Crash Bandicoot on a traffic sign. And then PlayStation Australia with their little Crash Bandicoot tease. That's all it was. But who knows? I mean, you know, Sony, they revived, you know, Final Fantasy VII. Or they're working with Square Enix to revive Final Fantasy VII, working with Yu Suzuki to revive, uh, Shinmu, 
The Last Guardian is finally coming out, so who knows? Maybe one day uh, Sony will buy the rights to uh, Crash from Activision and revive him. You know, what with them teasing it and all. As for Spyro, though, I don't know. I don't know. It's not looking likely, but uh, that is kind of a very depressing note to end on, but this was a really depressing game. I doubt I'm going to LP the next game in this series. Maybe. If demand for it is relatively high, I think I actually did have it planned for next year, but uh, might have to reevaluate some things because I was not expecting this game to be this, like, boring and just bad. I don't know, like... Well, we'll see what happens, but, uh, yeah, I've really got nothing else to say here. This was a rushed game. Honestly, had they just, you know, had Universal Interactive just allowed the publishers to, like, just work on the game and not rush them, we probably would have gotten a fairly good Spyro game. No, considering the plans they had for it, it probably would have turned out pretty good. But, eh, whatever, you know, this is what we got. Hindsight is 2020. You know, that's that's why you got you can't deal with these greedy publishers sometimes. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this. Thanks for watching this LP. I'm sorry if you were a Spyro fan before this and you know this game did nothing but depress you. But hey, you know, Spyro 1, 2, and 3 are on the PSN network, so you can always, you know, download those and enjoy them. Or you can buy the old Spyro games. They're relatively cheap on uh, Amazon, and now GameStop is doing, you know, like, retro consoles again and retro games. But then again, knowing GameStop pricing, you're better off still just sticking to Amazon. So, uh, join me next time for an actual good game. We're going to start Lost in Shadow. I am looking forward to that because I like that game. It's it's beautiful and it's fun. Yeah. Kind of the polar opposite of what this game is. But yeah. Um, and if you want to see the next Spyro game, I guess, you know, just let me know in the comments so I don't know why you would want to see the next Spyro game. Uh, yeah. See you all next time. Goodbye. I, I wish I had a better way to end this, but uh, I, I, I just don't. I just don't. This was a game that existed. And it depressed Spyro fans everywhere. But I'm just rambling now, so goodbye, everybody. See you next time for Lost in Shadow. Woo!